All right. Recap time. Last time, we uh, got our starter, Yudel the uh, Incredible Cyndaquil. We briefly got trapped in an alternate side of the map, which left me quite sad for like three hours until I found my way back in a heroic gesture of gloriness. Yes. I caught a few notables, such as Gary the Gyarados and Greg the God Amongst Worlds, which is to say, the Furret, and, and to end off the episode, I beat the shit out of a small child by the name of Bugsy to get my second gym badge, the first of the run. So this time, we're also playing Pokemon. Yep. Oh, let me actually just talk to her real quick. Then when we come down these stairs, this guy gives us surf. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a funny thing to me. I suppose I can check this one. So... Oh! That's really good, actually. I've never been in here. There's only one more house here that can be randomized. And it goes somewhere. That's Mewtwo. I can see it. Better if I had Flash, but... Alas. So for those of you watching who don't have superhuman vision, allow me to enhance the image that way you might be able to get a glimpse of what I was able to see in the recording, being new to. If you look right around uh, at this little cluster of pixels, that's Mewtwo. I know it doesn't really look like Mewtwo, but it's Mewtwo. And so I developed a diabolical scheme to get the Master Ball, and then get Mewtwo, and then win the game with a level 70 Pokemon. Because I'm smart. Swine up. What did you just use? I'm afraid. Get in the Ultra Ball. A go. <sighs> yep. And I think I'm gonna name him. Yeez. All right, let's try. Wait. Let's go. Okay, this is the exit to Iclex Forest. Which does, in fact, mean that we can get cut here. Probably. Oh, have we had a bunch of places down here? We haven't, but that's beside the point, because Kakuna would apply to the dupes clause. Let me see how to spell this, actually. Next clause. So we are going to get this encounter, whether we like it or not. So... Zubat. That's the one. We say go, go girl boss. Get us the Zubat. Might not be explicitly useful, but we do need it. Yep. A 
I'm gonna name it the only thing I can think of in the moment. Jairz. I was gonna name it Jerry, but uh, Jairz. As expected. Come on. Rick, go girl boss. Because we should just annihilate this dude. Just for existing. We're faster still. Alright, we're slower now. But it's not even two shots, so. We can flinch. Never mind. We just annihilated it. The AI in this game and that crocodile is not half bad. Jesus. Which. The only reason I'm switching into Wayne here is because he has the amulet coin on, and I want more money. Jesus. Here's the guy. This guy gives us cut. We've beaten a single gym and gone out of our way multiple times, so I can get cut. This puzzle is actually pretty sick. Need to catch him by surprise. Like this. Luckily, these aren't too difficult to catch. I caught that one pretty early as a kid, but it was this one. This one I just could not catch for the life of me. Oh wait, I see. There it is, I have cut. You're in Mount Motor. I think if we lead Girl Boss to paralyze, I have to be able to get something. A Geodude. Can't paralyze it, but I can switch. And give a few Kree attacks a try. And then throw a Pokeball. And I can think of only one name, as per usual. Welcome to Team Roxas. I'm 
memory serves side only this. scare me. Hmm. I'm starting to need a... Nom. Nom. Just, just nom. Oh! This is the gym where we get fly. The fifth gym. Uh, this one's in... Huh. I must have reset this at some point. Save state again because I can. Also, I forget what's in here. I found one more gym. <laughs> Only one more. Did that a while back. Oh. Oh my god, we found it! This is the top of the Sprout Tower. If we destroy this one, we can go back and be the first gym. Come on, Wayne. You have my amulet coin. And then after I beat this bad boy, I can go back and beat up- and bully. Not beat up, bully. Absolutely bully the first gym leader. I'm actually bullying this guy right now. Oh, 
No Pidgeotto versus Pidgeotto fight. That was a crit. Sorry, it shouldn't be funny. First gym done. Let's go. We do all gyms in regular time. I saw you at the radio tower just now. Honestly, Whitney, can you tell me where you saw me at the radio tower? Because I would love to get there. That's fine. I'm, I'm scared. Okay, cool. Unless... I'm still afraid. I'm gonna use U-turn. That's gonna kill. Whew. Now, I want to just... I had no idea that Greg was a level lower. There it is, the bastard, the ender of runs. Strength is still my most powerful move by far. How powerful? Whew. Is that it? No, super potion. I'm not gonna get another crit. Alright, that's why we use strength. That's the normal amount of damage? Well, let's simply use it again. Oh no. I'm scared of this thing. I was scared of this thing when I walked in here, but I'm more scared of it now. Because the least intimidating thing it does is attack. That's the third gym, baby! <laughs> this gym's so- I love this game. I kind of feel bad that I made her cry, but also, like, your character in this game is always stone-faced, like, he just beat the ever-living god out of Whitney's Pokemon, made her cry, walked down like, there's a child crying up there, can I get my badge now? And then you walk back up, you're like, hey, uh, I know you're crying and all that, but give me a badge. Another day, another gym badge, or two, one. This time we collected Faulkner's and Whitney's badges and made a few friends along the way. Such as Jair's the Zubat, Roxas the Geodude, and countless other phenomenal friends. So, you know, on a happy note, see you next time. Doodles.